Okay, so I finally checked out Man of Steel on um, the second trailer, um, and my feeling towards it is it's okay. It's actually pretty good. I I actually liked it this trailer more than I liked it the first one. Um, if it sounds like I'm underwhelmed and uh, not really looking forward for this movie, uh, don't get me wrong. I am looking forward to seeing this movie. I'm looking forward to seeing a different take on Superman. Um, the problem is, is it's hard for me to get super worked up when I already know that really telling Clark Kent's origin and how I came Superman again. Um, how many times have I seen this through um, the um, Clark, through the Christopher Reeve story, um, through the um, Lois and Clark New Adventures of Superman, um, even though they didn't dove into um, how Clark um, developed his powers, it pretty much um, gave us enough to what, um, what his origin was. Smallville, they actually did like, what, 10 years worth of uh, of telling his story, how he developed his powers, and um, how he became um, the Man of Steel, and um, surprisingly enough, I thought that that was gonna he's gonna be Superman in probably an upcoming movie, where that was not the case. They actually rebooted right back from square one, and I, I guess that was the main thing. I, I, I'm actually gotten tired of seeing the same story. The only difference between this one is that at least I say they're not starting with Lex Luthor again. I actually, I think that was the more draining. Uh, part about the Superman movies that um, the out of all the Superman movies I've seen, I think Superman 3 uh, did not have a Lex Luthor in it. Even though they had a Lex Luthor type villain, it didn't have Lex Luthor in it. Every every other film after that was Lex this, Lex that. Um, the guy has so many villains to face, uh, and he's always constantly pinning him up with Lex. At least this one, even though he is played. Um, He's one of his um, most powerful men is General Zod. Um, I, I'm actually can accept this because at least it's a different turn. It looks like they're not trying to follow the same pattern. Uh, Superman faced Lex first. And uh, from the trailer, it looks like things are really taking a more serious turn. Um, whether or not the fans will like it or not, um, that is the main to be seen. But from what I gathered from it... Uh, it's pretty much a very no-nonsense turn, a very uh, a conflict uh, between what Superman should do is right versus should he not do it. And I gotta tell you, the one scene I actually liked, as surprising as may seem, is the one where Kevin Costner, who's playing his father, actually says something I think a lot of people were shocked about. And uh, this this one had me thinking a little bit, um, and that was um, in the trailer uh, he saved. A kid or a, a, a group of kids in a school bus, and they um, said the kids said they saw what Clark did, and Clark saying, "What do you? What, what am I supposed to do? Um, let him die?" And he said, "Maybe." It something of a whole different turn about I was born here for a reason. It was so different turn about being responsible and your powers have a great gift. Use it. Um, it really, in many ways. I wouldn't say that his father is being a total heartless person. Um, I consider him as a person who's worried for his son's safety. I mean, let's be realistic here. Um, let's, let's really be honest here, and let's look at the trailer for what it is. You see Clark uh, turning himself into the military. Um, they don't know what the hell he is. They don't know what uh, what he's capable of doing. Um, and it may actually bring the essence of the man is the title of Man of Steel instead of calling Superman. This is actually the first movie that doesn't use Superman's name, which is something that I believe the Christopher Nolans um, have seemed to have done more than anybody else. Um, and granted, it's not a Christopher Nolan film, but I know there's anything that involved with Christopher Nolan. He tends to change it up, whether he's a director or a producer. Granted, he's a producer, he's not directing, uh, but just by looking at the trailer alone, he does have some. Maybe a small percentage, but you can see the influence that is there. You can see it through the visuals. You can see it through what the story looks like. Um, and let's not get it twisted. Zack Snyder, um, in terms of superhero movies, he's good with this. And, I, and I'm actually seeing the combination of both here with Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder is definitely uh, an aura about it that definitely reeks of his style. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he, um, how he handles it. Um, I have no problem with him directing this movie. I know a lot of people was worried because of um, Sucker Punch. Um, I was not a fan of Sucker Punch. I, I, the less I talk about it, the better. Um, but uh, neither to say, in terms of hero adaptations, 
I thought he did okay with Watchmen. I thought he did fine with 300. And I thought the best film, surprisingly, was The Owls of Gahu. Surprise, it <laughs> was the animated film, but I think he has a certain style of showing something visually that I think that, you know, you, you kind of get respect to. Um, plus, he's actually, he's not a terrible director. He's a good director. I mean, he, one bad film, I'm not going to go overboard and say he should not have done, um, done that, especially since he don't have total power. I think that's the main key. He doesn't have total power, so he can't just go and go crazy and go a lot of stuff. But um, in terms of what they're looking for, I don't see this film as a comic book film, but more of a, a, an action film, a sci-fi action film. And I can live with that. Um, I, that's one of the things I actually liked it about The Dark Knight. Uh, it, it, they threw away a lot of the craziness that was um, over-the-top comic book, um, um, comic book lore, if you want to call it, the comic book style, um, and actually gave us something that was more relatable. There's a story here that's more relatable, and going back to Jonathan Kent, um, the reason why it didn't bother me, it surprised me, but it didn't bother me, and I'm actually glad they did it, is because, let's be realistic here, um, Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman, is a weapon. And uh, they made it very clear about that um, in some of the um, comic books I've read, mostly in graphic novels. Uh, uh, one of the graphic novels is where uh, Superman actually renounces citizenship, which everybody was stunned, pretty much angry. I was actually thought it was a bold move from DC because, let's be realistic, Superman's supposed to represent all, not just the United States. And I always had that bothersome about how he said uh, truth, justice, the American way. Well, what if you uh, need to help somebody in Japan or someone in uh, and. Uh, all the way in Libya. You're going to tell me that you're not going to do it because they don't represent what American represents? And let's be honest here. Um, he has helped people outside of the United States, outside of Metropolis. Even Superman Return have shown that. And uh, another thing about it is that um, when you read the, that, that story, it's very clear that the United States uh, felt that he uh, should represent what they believe is and should do what they feel they, um, they, um, they felt is the right cause. And that's not what Superman is really all about. He's not a weapon. And that's the thing about um, this storyline that I, I'm, I'm getting. That um, it's not as much as um, Jonathan Kidd being heartless. It's more of the fact that he knows that anybody who finds out about him, anyone who, who's a government official find out about him, they will take him away, study him, and probably use him as a weapon. And we've seen it through ap um, animation. We've seen it through even some of the, um, some of the um, episodes in Smallville. The government can use him as a weapon. And God knows what, what um, Raffi can have. Um, and so it's more about protecting him. He doesn't want to lose him. He loves Clark Kent, and um, that's what I'm getting at. Um, it's not that uh, he is uh, trying to, um, you know, trying to say he was wrong, but it's it's more of a selfishness than saying I love my son. I don't want to um, lose my son, and if it means for him to be isolated, shy away from doing heroic things with his power, so be it. Now I could be wrong. I could be misreading um, this whole thing, uh, and um, if that is the case, then my bad. But that's what I'm getting at. And in fact, this is not the first time we have we have um, we had um, addressed this issue. Even in Lords and Clark, this very first episode, not the one that had the two-hour pilot, but the very first episode, it was um, pretty much told when he sat down about how when Clark um, landed, they you know they accepted him immediately uh, as their own to raise. And you had these government officials um, coming out of nowhere asking him questions. Now, automatically, they knew something was wrong, and um, they did everything they can to protect Clark, um, even, you know, going as far as destroying his spaceship. Even though uh, he kept the spaceship because it was part of him, but there was, um, there was that, um, that theme that they knew if the government gets him, it's not a good, it's n it, it can't be good for, um, for him. Um, so, it's that fatherly protection. It may be overly protected, uh, but it's definitely there. Um, I, I see a father theme going on with this. I actually do. Uh, like the way the visual looks. I like the way um, he looks, um, the, the actor looks, and the Superman suit. But other than that, I really can't give you any other thing, anything else of that. Um, it definitely feels that there's going to be a um, there's going to be a theme going on, uh, whether it's be um, fatherly theme, identity theme. 
it definitely feels that way. I actually like the suit. I thought the suit is actually fine. I'm not, you know, you know, mad about it. It does feel like that's kind of Superman. It's a nice upgrade. And by the way, this ain't the first time they upgrade him. There was actually a comic book that actually retold the story again. Um, it was a graphic novel story. The only difference between that, because that's where that S actually came from, from that graphic novel. Actually, that's where I remember it from. The only difference between, I can say, about um, this one is that they didn't try to make him look more alien-like. Um, that, that graphic novel I read when they actually rebooted it uh, made uh, Metropolis uh, bigger than probably any city I've seen, period. Um, is that when he turned Superman, he did not look right. He did not look like a Superman. He looked like a teenage boy just coming out of the streets. Uh, it wasn't until the very end where he actually looked a little like Clark Kent wearing the glasses and everything. But it, it wasn't. It, the art was fine. It was. It was good. It, it's just that the story could have needed some work. Um, I noticed that they never talked about that comic book again. Uh, but they did kept some of the um, some of the designs from that comic book that went to the New 52, and it seemed like it's doing it with that. And I don't mind that. Um, other than that, I'm. Hey, look, if the film is good. That's great. I, I'm actually looking forward to it. They took their time with this movie. I mean, this film um, was stated for 2013. Um, this film was already being made, but they didn't push it back. So um, there was some very delicate treatment <laughs> being done to this movie. And with DC Record, I'm being honest with you, they need it. They, they definitely need to be extra special careful. Because this may be a make or break. There's rumors about um, a standalone Justice League, which I don't know why they would do that. Um, but um, this could actually hurt their chances if this film falls flat in their face. And uh, a lot of DC fans are hoping that does not happen. Um, DC does not have a good tracking record outside of Batman and Superman. So let's just hope and pray that that happen. Let's just hope uh, that this film really lives up to their expectation. Again, if it sounds like I'm not really interested, it's not. that's not the case. It's just that, again, I've seen this origin story so many times that to me to get excited about it, if this was like a reboot that's um, fifth that was in the works like before that Superman Return thing happened or Smallville never occurred, then I probably would have been more pumped. But it's the same origin story. So the only difference is they're not using the Superman logo and that's probably because he probably didn't get the name yet. So that's my own feeling about that. So that's my feeling about the trailer. Um, I'm, it's good. Um, but again, I can't really pump myself up for it. Um, so what's your feeling about the trailer? Did you like it? Didn't like it? Uh, do you guys agree or even disagree with what, you have to, what I said? It's okay to disagree with what I have to say. This is just my own feeling of what I got uh, from the series and based on reading other um, comics, mostly graphic com comics about the character. Um, this is my own feeling towards what I have um, felt so far. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll listen to your comments. I will reply. Um, until then, this is J77 saying take care, be safe. I will talk to you soon.